Hello everybody, welcome back to my Solving with Variables series. You may have seen my easy version of this video. Today I'm working with a medium version, so it's getting a little bit trickier as we go on. So as you can see, there are more numbers in this equation than the other ones in the easy video. So what I'm working to do is the same thing that I was working to do before. I am trying to get the variable all by itself. What I have to do first is I have to get rid of the numbers. Now, this number is attached to the variable, so I'm not going to work with that yet. I'm first going to start with my addition. What's the opposite of addition? The opposite of addition is subtraction. So that means I'm going to subtract four from both sides. My fours cross each other out, so they're no longer on that side of the equal sign. But now I need to do 16 minus four. Well, six minus four is two, and I bring down my one. Now I'm going to set that equal to everything that's left, and my two x is what's left. Now I have a new problem that I'm working with. Two x equals 12. Well, there's no symbol between the two and the x. They're right next to each other. And that means that I'm multiplying. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I need to divide by both sides in order to get that x by itself. My twos cross each other out, and now I have x equals, what's 12 divided by two? 12 divided by two is six. Now I'm not finished yet because I always have to check my answer. Let's see if we were right in solving. I have two, I'm going to plug in what I got for x, I'm going to add the four, and it equaled 16. Now something very important to remember when you're checking is you have to use the order of operations. You have to use PEMDAS. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply. Two times six gives me 12. And when we're using the operations, all we do is we bring everything down with it. So 12 plus four, equals 16. Now I can do 12 plus 4. Well, I know that 12 plus 4 is 16, and 16 equals 16. So we got our answer correct. Let's move on to the one on the right. I have 5y minus 10 equals 20. Well, first I need to get that number out of the way. I need to get that 10 taken care of. So I see that that 10 is being subtracted. In order to reverse that, I need to add it. My 10s cancel each other out, and now I just add 20 plus 10. 20 plus 10 gives me 30, and everything that's left on the left side, I have to bring down. Hmm, there's no symbol there. They're right next to each other, so I know that means multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide. My fives cancel each other out. I bring down my y, and what's 30 divided by 5? 30 divided by 5 is 6. So y equals 6. So what I have to do now is I have to check my answer. I had my 5. I can plug in my 6 using my parentheses. I subtract 10, and I want to see if it equals 20. I'm not going to put my 20 there because it's not going to fit, but let's see if it equals 20. Well, five times six, because the order of operation says we have to multiply first, five times six is 30, subtract 10, and what do you get? You get 20. 20 equals 20. I hope this helps in solving variables. Be sure to check back for my hard version of this video. I'll see you next time.